Hi, what's up guys? Meet you again in new CNC channel. Okay, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to play video using VisualBasic.net. Okay, let's open our Visual Studio and then create one project. For example, uh, in here, I want to make application called uh, Video Player. Then just click OK. Okay, uh, the project has been created. In this video or in this tutorial, I went to using uh, two button. Okay, so I copy this. The button one is directly for playing video. And then using a uh, file dialog. Okay. The numbers uh, three item that we need to add in our form is Windows Media Player. Okay. Okay, you can see there in here is Windows Media Player already exists into box so uh, the question is if in my or your toolbox is nothing with this media player how to add uh, this windows media player into toolbox you can just uh, click in your toolbox and choose item like this and in the com components you can select a windows media player by checking this and then click ok but because there is a uh, half windows media player i don't uh, adding again okay i will cancel and i need to uh, play using direct for example Okay, let's uh, X Windows Media Player One uh, dot URL equal to uh, using direct method. We can just uh, using this for example. Okay, E one cover dot mb four. This is just for example one cover dot mp4 like this uh, because there is a simple method using direct let's try you can see there my video has been playing you can using control so uh, the next question if our screen is very very ugly like this how we can using uh, this to responsive you can using select active in here in your windows media player and then choose anchor in the anchor you can select uh, bottom and of course right okay hit enter and you can see if your uh, form is white it will follow your form okay like this you can also using full screen in here okay if you playing you can using full screen okay then uh, using file dialog let's play uh, or let's could double click in file dialog button and then using uh, if conditional statement if me dot uh, okay we need to using open file dialog you can add to your form okay by adding this and then if me dot 
open file Daniel dot uh, using uh, this to show dialog equal to Windows form or Windows uh, uh, dialog result. Okay, then we need to ends up because there is a statement we need to click or ending breaking this to uh, ax windows media player dot url in here we using uh, open file dialog one the file name it's or it will give the full path of your selected file okay uh, without s just file name let's let's see if the script is work or not okay uh, I want to choose this okay if you need to filter you can just click here and then uh, let's uh, you can see there there is a filter all file or for example this is mp4 and then adding asterisk mp4 like this for example okay you can see there there is mp4 and for dot umv we can add more than one filter you can see this is uh, adding this to create uh, more than one umv you can use asterisk dot umv like this okay uh, not valid okay I think is need to VMV feel like this Okay, uh, let's see again. Okay, you can see there. <laughs> VMV, MP4, and any things you want to play. Uh, that's all. Oh, yes. Uh, you can also change the player form to mini uh full mode and anything you can select this and you can see you emote you can choose full mini and for example moon okay if non it will uh like this okay uh let just mini for example oh, there is the same <laughs> let's uh, make this not the same double click in your form load and choose x windows media player one dot you emote for example to non like this and see what happened okay you can see there if non nothing control box here okay if mini you can see if mini you will not uh, uh progress bar is not function nothing works if uh invisible you can also trying invisible you can see there playing but nothing uh, the last is full 
you can also do this for your player okay that's all tutorial how to play video using visual basic thanks for watching and bye bye